Did you miss me? I'm back. When it rains. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start. And the countdown is almost over. Just reloaders. We're just losing our minds, losing our minds all the time. That's why I won't go home to that party life bullshit. California sun all the time. We wanna be famous, but don't wanna be hated. She'll have to contend with an opponent who will take any risk to win in the form of Liv Morgan. Can this woman live dangerously as well? Let's see what you did there. Ever since I returned, I made my intentions clear, but for some reason, a little bitch has been a thorn in my back. Liv Morgan. She keeps attacking me with a steel chair because she's too scared to attack me with her own hands. When I returned at SummerSlam, there was a steel chair in the ring right in front of me. Liv was down, and I could have used it to destroy her, but I didn't. I destroyed her with my own hands. But since she decided to use her chair against me, I decided to show her how to really use it. Now, let's talk about her instead of her only friend, the chair. A few weeks ago, I said that I would expose her for who she truly is. And it's time to do so. Liv decided to create her whole redemption arc because she became an afterthought. But she wants to get her revenge on who exactly? Because no one did anything to her. Unfortunately for her, she peaked a few years ago and now she's trying to use this Liv Morgan revenge tour to get back on top. The only person she can blame for her downfall is herself. She did nothing for a long time, so that's why everyone forgot about her. And she's trying to play this badass girl with her steel chair, but in reality, everyone knows, including herself, that she's weak and she became a nobody. That's why she decided to target me. She saw me returning with a brand new attitude, all eyes on me. She wants my spotlight. I'll give her some spotlight when I enter at Bash in Berlin when I beat her in a last woman standing match. Well, one of the most popular competitors in the women's division. Don't let the bubbly personality fool you. Liv is for real. A proven talent inside the ring, one of the most beloved competitors around. She is here to battle her heart out and have fun doing it. GG, look at you out here with your monthly personality. The Liv Morgan Revenge Tour started because of people like you. People who think that I'm an afterthought. It is my job to prove all of you wrong. And I'm willing to do everything to do just that. While you were having your identity crisis, I was here trying to get a small opportunity to remind everyone who the hell I am. At SummerSlam, you're the one who decided to put yourself into my revenge tour when you put your messy hands on me. So at Bash in Berlin, when I'll be the last woman standing, I'm going to get my revenge on you and make you leave once again, but this time it will be permanently. And if you don't believe me, watch me. Now this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Suicide dive! Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. There's a crucifix, nicely done. Oh, watch out. 
There's a seat for your face. I able to counter. And head scissors takedown expertly applied. Fed's press takes him down. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. The old chair with the ribs. Their opponent's energy. He sent back in under the ropes. Bam! What a slap. Uh-uh. Tyra. Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan oblivion. Liv ending this fight right there. Brutality coming right at you. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Oh, yeah. more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. But no. Oh, I want to trust that I want to fall. Told me that you'll catch me on